Justin, Canadians who love to travel and share their experience through videos. We're currently on day four of our 10-day road trip across Costa Rica. After spending two days exploring the luscious rainforest of the northern region, we're now in tropical paradise on the Pacific coast. We arrived in Tamarindo yesterday and today we're heading out to sea for snorkeling and a sunset cruise. If you like our videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you'll be the first to know when we upload new content. It's a little hard to work out when you're on vacation and it's important to both of us, but we just simply haven't had the time to do it yet. That or we've been just too tired from what we did all day. So we're gonna get a workout in, go for breakfast at a pretty cool looking place, well reviewed, and then get ready for our cruise. So I booked our boat tour on TripAdvisor, supposed to leave in three hours. I don't have an email yet from them, so we're stopping by their office to see what's up. So it turns out I did get an email at 2 a.m. from TripAdvisor saying um, the, the booking could not be confirmed, so my card wasn't charged or anything. I just didn't see that. I guess it went to my spam. We wanted to eat a little bit more because we had a boat ride coming up. It's very good. The bread was really fresh. We're definitely going to return tomorrow. Price was about 40 Canadian, which is probably more than we would normally spend on breakfast. But considering we're skipping lunch, it was worth it. So we texted our Airbnb host and she recommended a company that was running a tour today on Christmas Eve. It leaves at 1.30, which is in an hour and a half. So it's gonna be four hours, it's open bar. They deliver lunch, we're gonna do some snorkeling. Very excited. So we've spared you all of the hours of packing that we keep doing. Now it just looks like we're gracefully out the door all the time. But no, we're constantly rushing, unpacking, repacking. Did you bring this? Did you bring that? So I think we're set. We consolidated all our stuff in here for the boat ride. I already saw one of each, but I'm the only one who saw them. No one believes him. So no one believes me. And actually, like, a, someone's kid asked their dad, like, was the only one who was like, maybe. <laughs> so they told us capacity for this boat is 75 people. And because of COVID, they're limited to 40 people. And today we are 10 people. It's amazing for us, but not great for all the companies that are running here. It's a snorkeling time. Justin and I are gonna get some life jackets though because we are not the best swimmers. No, even with a, a life jacket and Aruba when we did this, yeah. I jumped in and I had a panic attack in my scuba mask. Mm -hmm. Scuba mask? Snorkeling mask, not even See? a scuba mask. That's how bad we are. Okay, uh, visibility is not the greatest. Um, over there it gets of course more shallow. Thank God for these life jackets. How are you doing? You okay, baby? Yeah. Okay. What happened? I swallowed a bunch of seawater. Oh yeah, that'll do it. it. Takes us a few seconds to go from Canada to deep waters. Bear with us here. We panic, or I panic. <laughs> the world's worst swimmer. You're not that bad. Oh. At least you can swim. Some people can't. Those life jackets yeah. are like the ones they gave you when the Titanic sank. They're like the two slabs of 
foam strapped across your chest and you can't make them any tighter so this is it we are one with the life jackets there's not many adult ones i don't think they expected that many people to choose them and we were the first two and we did not set a trend put it that way We haven't seen much. It's pretty cloudy, um, and there's just even when you can't see, there's just not many fish. But there is this little tiny yellow fish, the size of a minnow, striped, beautiful-looking fish that keeps flying like right in front of our eyes, and like follows us around. If you move your head, he moves to be right in your eyesight again, and he keeps greeting us. And I told Mihal, because then he went to visit her. He says, "Welcome to my water." I hope you have a pleasant day. I think he has a voice for like, hello, welcome <laughs> to my waters. No, I think he's a classy fella. Like he's got... He's like an older man? Yes. Oh. Just a tiny fish. And now it's really good. Okay, so we got beans, got some rice, some nice flavors, pico de gallo, and some fruit that is growing in Costa Rica. Super nice, very conversational, and because of how few we were on board, we were able to have some pretty in-depth conversations with the staff, which is always, which is nice, especially in these times and the troubles they might be going through. With you know, tourism is the industry that got hit the hardest by all this. So it is crazy to hear the stories and how they're trying to adapt. There's like a rainbow tint to the sky. I think it shows on camera. Yeah, that's not just an illusion. Tamarindo sunsets. Beautiful. Yeah, I have gums all over Oh my god. Uh, what are you doing? No, that's okay, let's go home. We'll clean you up. <laughs> I look down and Justin's having a little problem. I held on to my gum too long. Hi. The gum problem has progressed. So. What's your game plan, babe? In my defense, the only reason I have a gum problem is because I consider this place too virgin of a land to even throw a piece of gum on the beach. A lot of people will say like, hola, or buenos tardes, buenos dias. And I just forgot, like, which, which one to say. So all I said to the person was, Buenos. So good. <laughs> Stopped at the grocery store. A hers and a hits. <laughs> All the size difference. <laughs> Go to the top of that comment section. You're gonna see a bell. You're gonna want to smash that bell. I'm talking. You're gonna <laughs> smash. <it. laughs> Then what you're going to want to do is right to the right of that bell, there's going to be a subscribe button. You're going to want to smash that as well, you see, because that's going to give you access to a lifetime of amazing content. We're going to be going till we're about 80 years old, probably doing this. I might die a little earlier. She won't know, she'll be doing solo travel. I'm not editing till I'm 80.